Today, I'm going to lie to you. And I'm going to lie to you in a way where it's going to be challenging for you to find out which of them are lies and which of them are not lies. So the astute ones amongst you will begin to understand what exactly when I say when I'm saying I'm going to lie. Let's begin. When I was in 7th standard, they told me that light is a ray. It travels in beautiful straight lines, bounces off surfaces, following a very beautiful geometric law. Angle of incidence equals angle of reflection. It bounces off, comes here, comes there, and beautifully goes this way. Life was very beautiful. Until I went to 11th standard, and all of a sudden, which you will go there very soon, suddenly they told me light is a wave. It behaves as if you throw a rock into water, there are ripples, and light is very similar to that. And I said, okay, fine, I can live with that. And then I went to 12th standard, they told me, Light is a stream of particles. It's like you have a machine gun, you have a torch light, you open it, it's like you have a machine gun and start shooting out little bullets of light. And those little bullets, they're called photons. And I said, okay, now I'm beginning to get confused. To top it all, by the end of 12th, they told me, now we'll tell you what light is. Light is both wave and particle. Or they say neither wave nor particle. Which of it is it? They also said that, you know, you can, it depends upon what experiment you perform. You know, sometimes light will behave like a wave, sometimes like a particle. And by now, if you're not confused, then you're not really listening. Because I was very confused. And then I began to ask the question, what really is light? In order to answer this, we have to go into the deepest parts of what science really is. And is science trying to say something about reality? Are we trying to find out what light is? Nobody can say. The best analogy to take would be to ask you this question. Have you seen a political map of India? You'll see that it has states, it has capitals. Very simple, clean. Have you seen the physical map of India? You know, it'll have mountains and little rivers and all that. Then you have a road map, right? which tells you, you know, you take these roads, you can go somewhere. Now, which of them is India? Is that a bad question? Or is it a difficult question to answer? Because which of them is India? Is all of, are all of them India? Or is none of them India? Because if you try to build a map that has everything that has India in it, that India has, you'll have to build another India. So it's not the point at all. You want to build something that is not really the question where it's right or wrong, but we're trying to build something that is useful. Because what's the point of a road map? To tell you where to go. So if you have to find out where to go, which map will you go to? The road map. If you want to know how the cities are divided and how the capitals are, you'll go to the political map. If you want to find out where the rivers are, where the mountains are, you want to predict weather, you'll go to the physical map. Why am I saying this? It's because the real question is, we don't know what it really is. Nobody knows. Nobody knows what light really is. But we are building a map of what light could be. And if we imagine light to be that way, then we can make predictions in a better manner. That's what science tries to do. If I imagine light to be a ray, Will it be useful? If I imagine light to be a wave, will it be useful? So the question, is light a ray or is light a wave, is really a pretty bad one because we don't know. To keep learning with such engaging videos, download Baiju's, the learning app today.